That's right. It was one year ago today. Health Canada first informed the country we had a case of COVID-19 here. So we thought we'd take a look at our show from that time. Well, the future of gym class may not be in a gymnasium. One school in Virginia is now allowing students to get their physical education credit on their own time. So instead of... We were talking about learning outside the classroom and uh, look at... How close I mean, we, we were are. sitting close, so close oh, together. Oh, my word. We were also talking about that new coronavirus with Dr. Isaac Bogach here in our studio. People here want to know... What's the risk of it landing in Canada? Certainly it's not 0%, but the risk is still very low. Luckily, uh, we've been through this before. I mean, sadly, we've been through China this before. China first also, told the WHO you know, of cases of a mystery this. illness in Wuhan on the last day of 2019. But January 7th, we knew that there was a new kind of coronavirus. Then Thailand, Japan, South Korea reported cases. On January 23rd, the WHO met and said this new virus was, quote, not an international concern. That same day, a Toronto couple came home from Wuhan and the husband was sick. One year ago today, Health Canada reported he had Canada's first presumptive case of what we now call COVID-19. Hmm. Yeah. Remember terms like presumptive case? And I, you know, this reminded me... I was just thinking yeah. that. <laughs> uh, I, this reminded me of Lindsay asking the question because we would call it the novel coronavirus for, for a couple of weeks at least. And I remember <laughs> Lindsay asking... When does it get shortened? Like yeah. SARS was it had a longer name before it became SARS. She goes, what's going to be the, the shortened, abbreviated version of novel mm -hmm. coronavirus? And that's when we came up with COVID-19. Yeah. yeah. And I remember also when we were calling it coronavirus and then it switched to COVID-19. I was like, mm, I don't think that's going to stick. Uh, COVID-19. But again, I didn't think the iPad was going to stick yeah. here. So. Yeah. I, I remember, uh, I remember we, we were in this room and we were, we were talking about face masks and at what point were mm -hmm. we going to wear face masks. And I remember saying to everybody, I'm not going to let this affect my life until a doctor tells me it has to affect my life. Until then, I'm going to lead my mm -hmm. life. Uh, and and I, I think I've become far more vigilant. I, you know, I, I think I take precautions now mm -hmm. that nobody's telling me to take yeah. just to be on the safe side. But I, I, I did not think it was going to get mm. to the point that it got to. I, I never thought we'd live through what we've lived through this year. No. No. Mm -hmm. You know, I was talking to a girlfriend on Instagram over the weekend, and she was talking about how her husband uh, took a job, and he's uh, overseas right now, and so they're waiting for restrictions to lift so they can eventually see each other because of, obviously, quarantine-related uh, issues and travel uh, bans and whatnot. And not wanting to leave. Anyway, um, she was like, now we're, we're just hoping that all of this lifts so that he's home in time to see our baby girl be born. And I was like, man, a year ago, yeah. like that would have sounded so weird to say, but now it's so normal to think like, okay, yeah, we've got to think four or five months in advance. Cause that's kind of where my head's at now with this baby being born. I'm like, let's just hope my parents can come out for that delivery in the spring where I never would have said that mm -hmm. ever a year ago. Mm -hmm. I would love to know mm -hmm. from the rest of Canada, from our viewers watching this morning, what are some of your takeaways from this last year and what are some of the things that stand out to you as we look back at this marker one year since Canada identified its Wash your hands, wear a mask. COVID-19. <laughs> I hope that message has stuck by now. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.